for this job, um, the client showed me he's got a number of down lighters that are some of one and two are working, but most of them aren't. Um, he said he's changed the lamps, but they're still not working. So if they, I don't know if they're low voltage, could be transformers gone, could be loose connections. Um, so I'm just going to get my steps and get a few down and have a look. And where is your fuse board? Is that strangers at all? Uh, no, um, yeah, it's, you should have some black to cover up these spaces oh, oh, so okay. no one can't put their yeah. hands in there or anything like that. Okay, uh, and they're not labelled. <laughs> That's so clever. Okay, so I should imagine you've got three 10 amps, so it's probably one of these. Just if you, you might see your lights go out, yeah, yeah. not that one. Right, okay, it's this one. All right, cool. We'll leave it like that for now. Sorry. Yeah, excuse me. Yeah. Let me just show you. See that one? See how it's burnt? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's these, the transformers. Transformers, yeah, okay. Yeah. Electronic transformers. Um, yeah. Let me just... Yeah, because the fact that they're going one by one... Yeah. Is That fuse board looks quite old to me. How, how old is this building? I don't know, I reckon about, like about 15 years or something. Yeah, these are probably... In there, yeah, yeah, and you can feel it as well. It's okay, hot, you know? yeah, it's burnt. So, yeah, I'm gonna, I think we can take it as gospel that they're all probably the that, same, that they're all probably the same, yeah. And there's no way, well, the only way you'd be able to test is like take out one that's working and put it in, yeah. but okay. from the time you see it burning like that, it's burnt, it's yeah. got to be gone, you know. Okay. Now, you were saying there's one that's never that. Yeah. So your... I think the one in the, the one in the bathroom, the one in the bathroom has never worked, and the one in the. sealed unit to me. Mm. Do you remember the ones we used to put in there completely sealed? Mm. This doesn't look like a sealed unit, so in a sh right over a shower like this, it should be sealed. Mm. IP 44 minimum, I think, yeah. Falls out. Remember, mm. remember that job we did? Stand for a deal, I think it just fell out. Um, what I'm going to do. We're getting 240 volts there, yeah? It's coming in. No, nothing coming out of here. Try some transformer as well. 
What I would advise them to do is just get some um, sealed LED 240 volts um, fire rated. Do away with the transformers. Alright, okay. This one looks like a straight 240 volt LED that we put in here. So this one could be the lamp. No turn no transformer. It's just straight in there. Switch that button, switch that switch there for me, please. Switch the other one over there. Over there. Hmm. Right, there's nothing on there. Um, right. With that one in the cupboard, Daniel, yeah. uh, there's no power going to it. Oh, right. So that's okay. rec what I'd recommend you do. Mm -hmm. You can do away with the transformers, yeah? Okay. And fit, um, I'd, I'd just fit um, LED um, ones. Okay. But the, for the one in the bathroom, yeah. There's two lighting circuits in there, but if we're going to fit those two 40 volt ones in the bathroom, yeah. we'd have to change the, we'd have to take the MCB from the from one side and put it on the other side right, okay. to be protected by the RCB or RCD. Right. Okay. Because, um, which is not a, it's not a major job. Just taking it out, take it out of that side, put it on this side, okay. so it's RCD protected in okay. the bathroom. Okay. At the moment, because it's low voltage, ah. Oh, that, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. that, see, that just come out. So that could be why that's not working. Let me just switch off some fine electrical work here. Let me just switch off. Uh, because I'm not sure. Uh, right, just to be, it's just a quick connection. So I'm just, I'm going to switch all the lights yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. I could, I could find out which one it is, but just to be quick, I'll switch it all off. Right, so that could be why it's not working. But you see something else, right? Marlon always phones and asks me. When they, you see, when you put connections into a socket or a switch, sometimes switches, switch connections, if you buy the cheaper ones, the connections are quite small. So you, need, you just put them in single. But you should always, I always bend them over like that make it mechanically sound. And also, if you, if you, there was a big, there was a dent in the, in the indentation in the cable, yeah? Did you see that? I've showed it mm. to you before, I think. Um, yeah, and sometimes that, the cable can break. Ah, I'll that there. All right, so L1. All right, the connection, there's no connection there, so it's L2 it's in. Oh, that, that might not work. That's right. I'm just going to take this one out and. Right, you see the indent in the cable, yeah? That's not bad. That's not, that's fine. But, um, that's why I always double them over. Because sometimes you see where they use one mil for the lighting, they put it in like this. And sometimes when you screw up, it, it, it breaks after a while. <coughs> this is how I was taught to do it. I don't know if they teach people different nowadays, so I don't know. Always make your thing mechanically sound. So, 
before I put that back, I'm just going to check to see. Just that simple connection. Yeah. Simple connection that done it. And that's weird, because look, let me show you something. You see, when you do connection at the switch, right, it's you, when you get when you get a one gang one way switch, it's usually common L1, L2, and you just connect it in L1, but this has just got L2, but you just turn the switch up the right way. Doesn't really matter. Uh, hold on. Yeah, you see that there, yeah, that connection, right? It's just in a connector block like that. And look, you've got metal there, yeah? Say it come loose, you see how that one came loose? That could be with that that could come with some touch that. This should really be in a junction box. One of those um, boxes like there. there. What are they called again? If one of those coffin boxes or one of those um, clip boxes. Low voltage um, uh, okay, things or, yep. or you'd have, the, if, if they're not low voltage, then you'd have them on the RCD. So yep. what we do, if we change the LED ones to 240 volt LED, yep. we just take out the MCB from this side, and put it on that side, yep, okay. so that it's protected. Yep. Or, even better still, to be honest with you, it might even be better to fit an RCBO. Okay. Because if you put it on this side, which is the cheaper way, if there was a fault on any of these circuits, then this is gonna trip, okay. and you lose your lights. Okay. If you have it on this one, by itself on its own RCBO, it's better. Okay. So it won't okay, affect what's, it. Just again for the label. Yeah, the with the RCBO, yeah. RCBOs, for Aga, I think, I'm not sure, but you'll be looking probably about 30 pounds for the okay. RCBL. Yep. That's what I'm thinking. Yep. Okay? Okay. All right then. Fine. Right, good. You're straight with all that, you understand all that. I got all that, yep. Good. 